Alright, what's going on, YouTube? I'm back with another, with another Let's Play. I'm more than likely going to uh, scrap the Dang and Runpa Let's Play, as well as the Lord of the Rings one, because, <laughs> in all honesty, it's it can get pretty dry watching a uh, RTS Let's Play, and the Dang and Runpa one, I just don't have the I just don't have it in me to continue that. Uh, it's it's just not in me. Anyway. So, um, this is this Gaia 2, Dark Hero Days. A friend had recommended it to me since, uh, he found a nice little, uh, ISO, I think it's called, uh, for, uh, for the emulator I have. Uh, I've played a couple seconds into it, and it seems like an interesting game, interesting story, if not, uh, predictable. But, hey, it, it's a game's a game, and I get immersed into a story like this. It's a nice little, um, I think it's a JRPG, but, uh, hey. Instead of me talking, let's just show you what happens. I really hope you guys can hear me. Oh crap, no! I really hope I really ho hope you guys can hear me. Uh, just in case, let me just turn down the background music again. Because more than likely, you can hear the background music and not my voice. Anyway, let's go. Start. Okay, my frame rate just dropped for no reason. The Netherworld. Ooh. A lawless world filled with vicious monsters. This should be fun. The number of netherworlds has expanded with the rise of demons, powerful enough to rule such worlds. The Overlords. <laughs> now, another world is about to fall prey to such darkness. Is it our world? Halt Village. Oh, I just thought of something. Like, what's the age age group for this? Like, what's what's the focus group for this kind of game? Seems corny already, but I like it. It's it's a good kind of corny. Are you really gonna go through with this? <laughs> His name's Adele. His name's Adele. Sing for us, Adele. Sing for us. Hold on. <laughs> Adele. You don't have to do this, you know. I can go and find Zen on myself. Well, it looks like they're just gonna throw us into the story. Oh, yes, we do. We've already searched for him and we haven't even found a clue. I'm already enjoying the fact that this game has voice actors. I don't have to read the text out loud like I did in Danganronpa. Now, I do have a question. Why does she have three eyes? Seriously, three eyes. Why? And it says mom. That's our mother. Lovely. Besides, we've already finished all the preparations to summon him. Fried dragon, fairy oil, the Shura sword, clown shoes, and a worm bone. It's all here. Clown shoes? And this is definitely a, a, a conversation you have, you'd have candidly with your mother. Let's summon a demon. Or overlord, as they're trying to summon it, clearly. I think. Now we just need to sacrifice a bit of life energy to summon Zenon. I hope. Now who's giving up the life energy? You just concentrate on defeating Overlord Zenon when he's summoned, okay? Okay, if these overlords are as powerful as people think they are, do you think one person is enough? Just one? Oh no. Okay, what the- <sighs> Honey, this summon is gonna take more than just a little life. We're gonna die! Wait, that's her husband? She's so loving, isn't she? Anyways. Are those our kids? Yeah, yeah, that's enough complaining. We need to sacrifice some life in order to summon Overlord Xenon. The heck is wrong with this woman? Besides, you're all demons. It's a year or two off your life. You'll probably spoil them anyway. That makes it all the better. Like, seriously, what the hell kind of woman are you? You're supposed to be a mother! What? Don't you want to be human again? Do you want all my hard work over the last 15 years to go to waste? Oh, <sighs> she's that kind of person. But me and Tardo were born demons. We don't care about being human. Good point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Shut up, brat. Mommy still wants to be human again. So be a good bit of sacrifice now. You're, you're obviously mother of the year. Obviously. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. That doesn't sound good. She has a tail, too? Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I... this good mothering? Yes. 
If you really need life energy, you can use mine, you know. Don't be absurd. You're the only human left in this world. Everyone else turned into monsters. We can't waste any of your precious life. Can I get some reasoning behind the everyone else's monsters? I don't like this at all. Using sacrifices is just plain wrong. Okay. Only fair fights are worth fighting. That's just my style. Oh, he's this kind of person. Okay, okay, you voiced your opinion. Now get ready for the summoning ritual. <laughs> Did you even hear me? Devil woman? Ha, huh, that means two things. She is a devil. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But I am a devil. Thanks to Zenon's curse, I have no conscience. Your choices are your own, lady. It's an ocarina! <laughs> Quick, where's Epona? I'm not sure if you guys can hear the flute. I did turn on the background music and that's part- Oh my god, what just happened? Spirits of darkness and light, in the name of Adele, I hereby summon Overlord Zenon to his side! He will gladly perform for you! Oh my god, I can hear, I can already tell that we're gonna experience an epic first tutorial battle. She's a great woman, isn't she? She willingly sacrifices her family. Willingly. Would anyone else do that? Oh, Honestly, pro wrong. probably the clown shoes. For some reason, that was part of the recipe. <gasps> Here it comes. Here it comes. I have the power! Actually, that doesn't fit. I'll use that one later. Maybe, I don't know. And there goes my frame right here. It even went up a little bit. Weird. Oh no, it's a pretty woman! I play this game for the plot! I play this game for the plot! I play this game for the plot! <laughs> I th either we messed up or uh I don't know. It doesn't seem like an overlord to me. Then again, I don't know what they look like. Hmm? What happened? Where am I? She de certainly sounds dignified. It's a girl? Yes. Well, she sure is cute for an overlord. Okay, I n I can already tell where this is going. You've got to be kidding. She's Overlord Xenon? Overlord Xenon? Do you know my father? Plot twist! They messed up. Father? Wait. You? You're Xenon's... Yes, she is. That I am. For I am Rosalyn, the one and only daughter of Overlord Xenon. Yay. Oh, you can't be serious. Yes. Episode 1, The Overlord's Daughter. Um, before any of this goes on, uh, I realize that you may or may not be able to hear me. I realized this during the Lord of the Rings Let's Play. Oh my god, it went ahead without me! So, Overlord Xenon has a daughter. You'd think we would have heard about something like that. You think you would. Anyway, before I continue what he's going to say, um, I realized during the Lord of the Rings Let's Play that I was completely inaudible during certain parts. I didn't realize that I should have probably lowered the volume a little bit. Uh, I lowered the volume for the game this time, but honestly, the reason people can't hear me is because I'm using a laptop's mic to record my voice. And I don't have any audio recording problem, any <laughs> any audio recording programs that I can use to normalize the audio or raise its volume and whatnot. So uh, there's that. Also, um, I am in the market for a, a headset with a mic. A friend of mine is going to give it to me, give me his old one, cause apparently his makes it makes his ears uncomfortable. Um, so, uh, um, I'm gonna get that, but it's gonna be a while because, uh, he doesn't go home every other weekend like I do from college. So, um, <clears throat> I will be getting that soon. 
Um, so I will be improving my audio quality a little more as time goes on. But until then, you're gonna have to deal with the crap that I'm putting out. Sorry. I can't wait to tell Bridget about this. Put on some clothes, young lady. You're only wearing a what the hell is that? It, is that a, is that a wrap of some sort? Like honestly. And then again, this is a Jap Jap Japanese game. How do we know if she really is Overlord Zenon's daughter? I feel like they both have the same voice actor. Hey, you've got a point. Hey, Toots, are you really the Overlord's daughter? How classy. How dare you address me as Toots? Do you not know the proper way to speak to a princess? We all do. We just choose not to speak that way. And to question my lineage, even after witnessing my noble visage, you people are truly deprived. I'm not deprived, I just choose to act that way. Yeah, yeah, just answer the question. Yeah, answer it. Very well. My heart is as broad as the night sky. <laughs> now, behold my undeniable proof. My heart is as broad as the night sky. Does that mean you have a big heart? I don't know what that means. Magic Circle! Surely you must recognize this emblem of the four-leaf clover. That was a spell circle. Not a four-leaf clover. Oh, that four-leaf clover is... The symbol of Overlord Xenon! <laughs> I like this voice acting, it's kind of funny. Indeed. You are not as ignorant as your garb and demeanor suggest. I choose not to judge people based on their clothing, because if I judged you based on yours, I would call you a whore. A very classy whore. This emblem is the ultimate proof of my heritage. It is the bond between our souls as father and daughter. Cool. The four-leaf clover is the mark of Xenon. The three-leaf clover is the mark of Xenon's curse that we all bear. I wonder how different they look. I haven't seen the three-leaf one. Unlike ours, it is said that only those close to Xenon himself bear the mark of the four-leaf clover. Exposition! It looks like she really is his daughter. More exposition. See, Adele? This is great! We can use her as a hostage! Oh! <laughs> I can't get over the fact that his name is Adele. Are you nuts? This isn't good at all. Me? A hostage? Don't be absurd. I simply am not hostage material. I'd say you're the perfect hostage. A princess, probably worth a lot of money. Even if your father doesn't give a shit, well, um, we could probably sell you off. Somehow. Uh, uh, uh. But we performed the ritual. In the name of Adele, I summon Xenon. Those are the terms. I'm really happy that this game has voice actors. Really happy. Until Adele meets Overlord Xenon, your highness is bound by the ritual to stay by Adele's side. I like our mother. She's very sassy. You can't disregard these conditions, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> summoning rituals. She's the same thing I did. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we get an achievement. Not even I can disregard the terms of a summoning ritual. However unpleasant, there is nothing I can do. Whoa, 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 wait! You're kidding, right? You don't really expect me to go out looking for Xenon with her, do you? Yes, I do. Pretty lady, relatively handsome male protagonist. I can already see where this is going. What's the problem? Be a man! You can't give up now. What about all that fair fight nonsense? Plus, sassy mom. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> oh, what? Am I moving? Oh, no more voice actors. Oh, I like the voice actors. You should talk to people in Monsters to get some information before you leave. Um, oh, whoa. Talk to Dimension Guide whenever you want to leave to win the town. I don't know how she does it, but she can take you anywhere you want to go. Oh, really? <clears throat> there are a lot of dangerous monsters out there. I don't want you to get lonely, so I hired some people to go with you. You don't look exactly rich. How'd you get that? Fighters are skilled at close combat. They, will, they have well-balanced offense and defense. They will be your main attackers early on. Red Skulls are boy magicians. Red means they use fire type magic. Long range magic attacks work really well. Healers are important for rejuvenation. They aren't skilled in close combat, so use a bow to do and do long range attacks. 
Can I name them? 